Thanks for coming to watch the install portion of the KMS Open Forum LTR Ship Pin Relocation Kit. Anyways, let's get started. Here's the Suzuki LTR 450 motor. This arm right here will need to be removed. Leave the bushing in place. We have a shift lever shaft, which basically what we need to do is make sure that you don't lose this little guy right here. Okay. Now when you remove the shift pin, if it's damaged or in the motor, you need to make sure there's a little washer that goes behind it. Make sure you don't lose the washer into this channel right down there because then you'll be fishing it with the magnet forever and uh, you may or may not get it. Bottom line, don't lose the washer. Okay. So that's actually with the shift pin itself. Now here is actually the kit that we're going to go ahead and install. We have an aluminum support area. We have a bushing. That's, this is a steel bushing support. We're going to have two washers, uh, an Allen screw, two countersink screws, and a coupling nut. The first step is go ahead and reinstall the ship pin shaft. When you install this thing, there's really no index marks or anything, so what you're going to kind of do is just center this thing up. Okay? So now that it's centered up, we're ready to go ahead and install the kit. Okay? We're going to take the coupling nut, grab a little Loctite, Put some on the inside of the threads, you can put some on the shaft, whichever you prefer. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the aluminum portion set up to be installed right here. What we're gonna have to do is install this shift pin. Now, the two washers are actually to basically locate the shift pin. I like the shift pin to basically sit really deep inside this pocket, so. Uh, yeah, try to get that out. So basically you're going to use the OEM washer plus you're going to use the two additional washers as spacers basically to locate the depth of this pin. Now, again, a little bit of Loctite. Don't forget your Loctite. Okay. Now obviously this, this support is going to be sitting like this so we want the pin to actually come in from the back side. So basically you're going to thread it this way into the aluminum piece. And then we're going to go over to a vise, put this in a vise to make our final torque. All right, so we're in a vise, and now we're just basically going to go ahead and man up, tighten that thing down. You don't want to come and lose, my friend. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. This steel part actually sits in this chamfered relief right here. So what we're going to do is basically install this whole assembly like this, and this is where you get more Loctite. Loctite, Loctite. This is being filmed in Phoenix, Arizona, and it's like 110 degrees inside this place, and we have to shut the blowers down just because it's like, you know, you can't hear the video at all while the blower's going, so I'm trying to hurry up because I'm sweating my ass off. So now, what I typically like to see is you start the upper threads up here, just a little bit, just kind of hold this piece in place, and then what I'll do is I'll kind of orient, and, yeah, I get my piece, piece of wood a little bit better lined up. I'll orient this pin set up, and then I'll start to kind of just work these way, a little bit way down. Okay, and before I crank these things home, I'm going to want to go ahead and throw in the other support. So I take my little Allen screw, Loctite, Loctite, Loctite. All right, so I got my Allen wrench, sweet. And go ahead and thread that guy in. Okay. Now that that's bottomed a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and tighten these down the rest of the way. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish tightening that up. Now, with this kit installed, you can see that the bushing is not going to slide off, hit the back of the basket, or cause any uh, low oil pressure damage. And we've relocated the shift pin. securely and basically this is now ready to be put back together and by the way you can watch Tom Hartley's video it's very good if you don't know how to get to this point uh, Tom Hartley actually takes it from start to finish so he actually removes the clutch cover gets in here does the work and then comes all the way back out he uses it a little bit different uh, kit than what we use um, but the, uh, the whole principle is the same so you can actually watch both videos and go back and forth and by the way PS good job Tom I will uh, see you later. All right, so one part I forgot in the install video, so this is basically the fill-in on it. 
when you actually go ahead to put on your gasket and put your clutch cover on, because we actually built the ship relocation pin kit or, or whatever, basically because uh, we actually went ahead and, and used this space which actually exists inside the clutch cover itself, you got to do a little bit of gasket trimming to basically uh, clear this boss section right here. No big deal. Okay. So you have your trusty gasket that you're going to put on. Okay. And it's kind of like connect the dots. So basically you're going to start at this circle hole right here and you're going to draw a line just like that. And then you're going to go from circle to circle right here. Okay. And then you're going to go one more circle to circle and then circle to gasket end right there. Now basically these holes are provisions to allow uh, oil to go from your clutch area right here which actually runs inside your clutch cover itself as opposed to in the case basically as the oil is coming out of your clutch because this is pressure fed it allows the oil to actually go back in. So larger holes is actually a good thing because it allows basically your clutch to drain uh, a little bit more effectively reducing the amount of drag. So, we get our trusty pair of scissors out. Start chopping. My daughter would love doing this. So, we basically just cut these sections out. Now, you don't want to get too close to the holes because that's, <laughs> that's actually uh, going to make the gasket leak. So, you want to leave a little bit area so, our, so your cover can actually seal. So, basically, we just trimmed out this section right here. And let's just make sure it fits before we go crazy. So, what we're going to need to do as you see this area right here is actually pushed up a little bit and pushed there a little bit. Now I actually cut this intentionally like this just to kind of show you guys that you want to be careful of this area right here. So we're actually going to come in and just cut this a little bit closer in through here and then this area right here looks to be okay. So we're going to leave that alone. It's better to basically leave a little bit more gasket than not enough gasket. Let's see if I can find my mark. Okay, so I found my mark. So now I'm just going to come in and just trim it just a little more. Throw it back up here and we're good to go. You want to make sure that all your bolt holes line up accordingly. Okay. Now if we get a lot of complaints on this gasket mod, then what we'll do is we'll actually just go ahead and change up the piece so it sits flush for everyone. But uh, I don't feel that, you know, going in and actually making this little trim to save uh, quite a bit of money on these kids is such a bad idea. But We'll see what the masses say. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.